Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the next episode of Andor, episode 10, One Way Out. So, obviously we gotta leave on a exciting cliffhanger leading up to what we all know as uh, the jailbreak. So, really looking forward to that um, the most out of everything. So, that's all I'll say about that. Gonna hopefully get through this recording pain-free. I have a new puppy in the house and he just went down for nap time. So we'll see if he won't cry in the middle of this. Let's hope. So anyways, let's get watching and or episode 10, One Way Out. They're even putting his body through, maybe for memorial. This could be you if you don't. Listen to what we say. Hi. We need to go tomorrow. Afraid of what? They just killed a hundred men to keep them quiet. What would you call that? I call that power. Power. Power doesn't matter. It might be wise to have a plan. We have a plan! Oh, what are you? You and Burlock and Melchie! You don't have time to be stupid! Come on! Plan works around a new man coming down. I'd rather die trying to take them down than die giving them what they want. Ooh. He's scared, but he knows he's right. It has to be tomorrow. Man, Cassian's Program. fearless. Yo, God. New man. I'd be running tomorrow. to my thing. What's going on? What's going on? The doctor told Why? us what happened down to I believe it. He's only a doctor. Come on, you can leave. No one! Is getting out. The rumors are true. They're not letting us go. Oh, I love his voice. It's yeah. like a dessert. We're gonna it's die. Let's get our heads back in our cells and start figuring this out. Nice. Oh my gosh, the nerves. The nerves, man. She needs her meds, she knows it. But we caught her hiding them now. And when I asked her what she thought she was up to. Yeah, what is she doing? She said your pills were putting her off her food. And she'd rather keep eating than let you pretend you knew what's wrong with her. Look like at his you. fancy jacket. I know it's tasteless and cliche, but one of the indulgences of great wealth is freedom from other She's people's opinions. Manage her time accordingly. I love their out his outfits, like the strong shoulders. But then. I always get to I'd like to hear her say it. Yes. We're exploring alternative financing arrangements for our foundation. <laughs> she What's does not like this. What's unfortunate is that she people is so such as yourself, those with immaculate reputations... I love how stiff and unmoving she is. ...taking advantage of the opportunity, they're somehow tarnished like to come back here. At least once. Oh, I'm sure that's something that can be arranged. I have a 14 year old son. Kate doesn't son. like this. I'd like to bring him with me. You want to set up her daughter and his son? You can't be serious. An introduction. Her daughter's 13. She'll soon come of age. Attractive and privileged Chandrillan citizens. Your only offer? Ooh. I'm will see you out. <sighs> of course. It's a lot to think about. I'm not thinking about it. That's the first untrue thing you've said. It's been a pleasure. I mean, he didn't say they have to get married, but not only are they young, but she also does not want to be affiliated with this man. She clearly it was does not like. Oh. We really do. He's still on board. I want out. Don't care how. I'm dead. I'm dead. Hey, hey. Don't die until you put up a fight. Don't die until you put up a fight. One way out. Come on. Um, poor guy. Oh, poor guy does not know what he's about to walk into. Oh. New man ready on fire. Trying to make D it. Requesting unit override. He wants it to blow. Don't worry about how long he's been in there. He's taking a crap. On the program. Yeah, don't worry. He's got nothing wrong with him. On program. New man on the floor. Everyone Ooh, on the My tummy hurts. Floor. 
Hold your position. What did you say to me? I said nothing. I mean, if you want to say something, you should say it now. Man, he's ballsy for risking to be the... What's going on out there? Oh, he got it. He got... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, new guy. Okay. We can get... Yep. Oh, I see. They're trying. Oh no! Get on the table! Get on the table! Wait. Wait. He was standing. Attack! I'm crying because it's stressful. When so many people are dying. Run! Cry! They're like, what? Nice. Make the episode to five two. Too late. Turn it off. Excuse me. Turn it off. That could mean so many things. I'll turn it off. <laughs> I would too. No! Don't just turn it off. Caught the power. It's all hydro. Once we turn it off, it takes months to get it back up and running again. I don't have it. He has the hydro gens. That's the backup power supply. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. There's so many emotions. The stress of it all. Them working together. Move! On program! Now! All yours. You do this every day. Tell them what to do. It's just so well acted. I'm speaking to you from the command center on level eight. Is that the best you got? Wherever you are, right now. Get Would out. the elevators work? Stop the I, oh, I guess the power. Get out of your cells. Take charge and start climbing. Rather die try to take them down than giving them what they want. He's, he's saying exactly what he told him. They fried a hundred men. And that ends today. There is one way out. One way out. One way out. One way out. That's terrifying. Oh, no. What? What did he say? He can't swim. Oh. Someone help him. This is a trap. Press the buttons for 215. First of all, congratulations. On what? Your daughter. Healthy, beautiful. You must be pleased. Ooh, he's threatening him. This can be. Well, it's been a year since we've had a chance to catch up. You've become a father. It's not worth mentioning. So this is like his inside man? You. I think about you constantly. Oh, how romantic. Why are we here tonight, Lonnie? I can't do this anymore. I'm a father now. We took a vow. So what was your plan? A vow? Gather a big basket of goodies for me as a farewell gift? We can't let you go, Lonnie. We can't spare you. We've been grooming you for too long, and yes, you've been alone. You're trapped, Lonnie. There's no pleasure in saying it, but you're going nowhere. My sacrifice. I mean, he's not wrong. 
means nothing to you, does it? We need heroes, Lonnie, and here you are. We're not and what do you sacrifice? Calm. Kindness, kinship, love. I've given up all chance at inner peace. I made my mind a sunless face. I wake up every day to an equation I wrote 15 years ago from which there's only one conclusion. I'm damned for what I do. My anger, my ego, my unwillingness to yield, my, my eagerness to fight. Time I look down. There's no longer any ground beneath my feet. What is my, what is my sacrifice? I'm condemned to use the tools of my enemy to defeat them. I burn my decency for someone else's the ego that started this fight will never have a, a mirror or an audience or, or the light of gratitude. What do I sacrifice? Everything! Crap, that episode, it still got me emotionally. I think I was feeling so emotional because I was seeing all these men around that were dying, sacrificing, putting all everything into it because it was either escape and have a chance at living the life they want, freedom, or die, be imprisoned in an endless cycle of torture and fear. And just seeing them, the camaraderie of coming together again, just all that tension and nerves just got me, <laughs> me unnerved. And I was feeling that and sad to see all of those individuals again play their part and fall for it and then in the end finding out that he couldn't swim like he did all that not only knowing the end there's one way out and he would not be getting it because he can't swim and they can't I now we see that they were hunted with the helicopters they couldn't afford to slow down to help him in that moment now there's a chance that he found somewhere in the ship floaties or something or like there's gotta be something for the guards i guess they're just trapped there too i guess he could always try like putting on a guard uniform from one of the dead ones putting on the shoes you know that's just me being hopeful wow it was quite powerful you know the speech he was giving basically for everyone else but himself because he knew he wasn't getting out of there so that was really beautiful just this whole show but this episode especially like the acting was just so well done the the interview or meeting with Mon Mothma and the the gang guy or whatever the mobster and that tension and you could feel her like disgust and infuriation with this person and then his suggestion just like completely took it to a new level and then of course all the guards and all the variety of feelings the the fearlessness the completely engulfed with fear the anger the hopefulness all those things coming together together um feeling finally like tasting a chance of tasting freedom i think that we would all have done that especially when you feel the energy of those around you like we would all take that risk not to mention i mean i know it was like life or death but how i mean there was definitely some hesitation with folks but the height there's also that risk of not surviving jumping off into the water because you have to land that appropriately in and not risk breaking your neck, breaking your back, breaking the leg. So you have to land appropriately from the hundreds of feet high. That's what it looks like at least. And then swimming what looked like, I don't know, multiple miles, like more than like a triathlon or Ironman length to land. And then you have to sprint. They're basically, these guys are basically doing minus the biking the triathlon right here. Um, but again, you have nothing to lose. You're like, better run and get out or get shot and killed. So really powerful episode, really well done. And then of course, you know, the moment with this now finding out Lonnie, this guy who's an ISB agent, which I can't exactly recall what role exactly, if he's a fellow supervisor or if he was an assistant to her, but he's obvious, he's an ISB agent and he, that's their inside man. Like six years, he's worked his way up in this role of playing double agent. And they apparently, like this group of folks, made a vow years ago to make sacrifices for the rebellion because they were tired of it. You know, I just appreciate them showing these moments of of being human, of being like, 
I didn't know how it would feel, but now that I'm a father, like I fear so much the risk of putting my daughter at risk, but also of her not having a father. So that's, you know, and but he feels trapped and he's scared he, that was emotion there because he's like, I am out of luck. That was the risk he took, I guess, to have a relationship. And then Luthen, basically, he's like, it basically seemed like he was basically empty inside, essentially. He's like, I've had to put a void here to fight because I have this goal and I'm so stubborn. I'm going to accomplish my goals of fighting for the rebellion. But I have nothing to, sh I'll have nothing to show for it. I, I, they're basically, it's like doing things to make it better for the future generations that he's not going to get to experience it because they know it's going to be a fight and a long fight. And he's not going to be able to, to participate in the in the new world and the changes they're fighting for. So he's like, yeah, I'm giving up a normal life. I'm giving up any of this future because I know all the risks I'm playing. I have to cut myself off and make connections and do things that's basically making me like lose some of my humanities myself. Just gosh, overall, the show's just amazing with the acting. Like every single person did so well. Even that small moment with that mobster man that I can't remember his name. Him, the small subtleties and and the, and the, again the body language between it all, like oh, so good. And of course, a satisfying prison break. Again, seeing the variety of emotions and reactions to the prison, but also the guards. Just all that they had to do to escape out of there. Sucks for the people lower on the floor, if you know what I'm saying. They gotta climb all those stairs jump that distance, swim that distance, run, all of that. And in the end, we got to see Cassie and Andrew running off into the moonlight with Melshi. So best of luck to them. Obviously, we know what's in store for Cassian, but he's such a good character because I think for so long still, he has this will to fight. He, ha he always seems so confident, so fearless. I wouldn't say it's arrogance. He's just gone through so much crap in his, in his younger days, in his life in general, this BS prison sentence. He's just like, whatever i don't deserve this so i and i know how how this how their game is playing out and he's so analytical he's so good at observing all of those things from day one he was already making observations of location of things and items the demeanor of the of the guards and then the whole system and counting and all that so beautifully done the most intense episode you know, one of my favorites because it was just so well acted. I feel like a lot of good character development there in story. So, so guys, thanks for being here and watching. I hope you enjoyed it as as much as I did. If you liked this video reaction commentary, you can give this video a thumbs up, push the like button below. And if you're here and you want to see more from me um, or just want to further support, hit the subscribe button. That's the best way to know when my videos go live. And yeah, I guess I don't have anything else to talk about. I'm just still feeling the energy from that episode. So guys, it has been great. Hope you're doing well and I'll see you on the next one.